On the way to Los Angeles downtown Skid Row, this is the 10 freeway going east. And when you take the exit to downtown, that's what you see. Some of the homeless encampments are actually on the street. So you got to be really careful that you don't hit anything. Those are just the side streets on Broadway. And this is not even considered Skid Row yet. Welcome to muggy but beautiful downtown Los Angeles. It is hot today. If you go up on some of the parking structures, you have a really good view of Los Angeles. I'm here in the beautiful flower district on 7 and San Pedro. And that's where they clean up the streets today. San Pedro and 7th Street. When the sanitation team is cleaning up, there's always Los Angeles Police Department around to make sure nothing is going to happen and that there's not going to be a fight. They're going to clean up the whole street today. They posted a sign 24 hours before that they're gonna close down the whole street and clean up the street. And some of the homeless guys are not ready to move their stuff yet. They're still working on it. And that's why the sanitation team can't finish the work in one day. Sometimes it takes longer than they anticipated. All the way to fourth they're going today. This is how the street looked a couple of days ago and now they cleaned the whole place up and in the next clip you can see they just put this fence up here so people can't set up on that side anymore that's 6th street it used to be all full of tents right here and now they're gating it off lasa and some other outreach groups try to get the homeless people housing but sometimes it looks like they move from one side to another side and not everybody got housing. And on this particular street, you can see how filthy the sidewalk is. Wherever you look, you see people suffering. Here you see the notice of major cleaning and you can't even believe how bad it smells here. All this smells so bad. Just two days ago, it was all full of tents right here. They cleaned up everything. It seems like the LA dream is just a mirage. Most people that are here on the street, they just try to survive. Most people that just drive by in their cars, they're numb to what they see. They just go by and go on with their lives. But I spent over 20 hours last week right here in Skid Row. And you won't believe all the stuff you see. You, you really can't believe it. You shake your head and you think, how is all this possible? There are groups of people out there that try to make a difference, try to help the homeless people with food, medication, clothing, whatever they need. They're giving him a little time to get all his valuables out the tent and Lhasa is here too. I saw a few flyers of people that were missing.
think he just saved his tent. Tomorrow they're going to clean up 6th Street. All the stuff on the side and those tents that will be gone then. And this is something you can't believe. You see people eating out of the trash can, even though there's like shelters around. Lots of people are frustrated and angry. That is some powerful power washer. sitting there braiding her hair. We call them the green machine. Those are the public toilets here on Skid Row. In my last video, you seen where they cleaned the whole street up and now everything is back to normal here. Even right here in front of the hotel, everything was cleaned up. I gotta take advantage of that. How often do you have a chance to drive on 6th Street without no cars in the middle of downtown LA? I love it. Nobody on the street and the police is not saying anything He got his ride parked right next to him. It always takes so long So they call this spot cleaning. They're not gonna tear down the tents right now because they don't have enough time So they just pick up what's on the street right now No shoes on the hot concrete A study of the Los Angeles homeless count which shows that 66,000 people in Los Angeles County experience homelessness. Even though they try to get the homeless people housing, there's an increase of 12.6% of homelessness in Los Angeles. For some reason this reminds me of New York and I really love that noise that fire engine makes, especially the American fire engine compared to the German ones. No time to die. Here you can see they cleaned the whole street with the power washer, but it's drying already. And since that street is so slippery, German Venice took a dive. And I filmed this after I cleaned myself up. It's really aggressive down here. People want to fight all the time. There's people bringing down food.
I showed you that power wash this street an hour ago and now people are already coming back and sitting there where they always sit. I think the sanitation team work about six days a week and they always rotate. They do different streets all the time and then after one week they start cleaning on the same street again. This is abandoned. We're gonna pick that one up. They were just helping the lady to move her tent over to the other side. And again, pressure washing. That's not really his tent, he just wants to get the tarp for his other tent. I think you can't compare Echo Park and Venice Beach with Skid Row. Skid Row has been around for many decades and I think it's always going to be like this. There's going to be always homeless people right there in downtown Los Angeles. In Venice they give people tickets so they're not coming back. And there goes the whole tent. I don't know what they're doing with those pellets. There is a lot of police in downtown Los Angeles, but they're not enforcing any camping laws right now. So once a week, the sanitation group puts a sign up and they clean everything, try to make it look better. But after they're done cleaning, the people come right back and put the tents back up. So there's no enforcement right now in Skid Row. He's moving right back. And he's moving right back too. And now I'm here on 7560 North Figuera Street. It's called the Eagle Rock Recreation Parking Lot. And I got some news for you. Not too long ago, this parking lot was full of tents. And they just recently cleaned it up and put the fence around it so nobody can walk in here. And from what I heard, they wanna make this into like a little city for homeless people with those tiny houses. Well, so far it's a rumor. We'll see when it comes through. But that's just what I heard. They got plenty of space here for some houses. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from beautiful Los Angeles, the city of angels. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. I see you guys next time. Tschüssing.